Representatives from the northern part of the state say they have fewer cases and are trying to follow guidelines to keep it safe there as their crucial summer season approaches. It's a beautiful day up here, finally. A bright start from the Littleton School District saying one lesson from remote learning, broadband access needs to be addressed. Healthcare representatives said there's not a single hospitalized COVID-19 patient in the North Country. Upper Connecticut Valley Hospital says they're now at 25% pre-pandemic volume. Because we have received some grant funds, absent a grant mechanism, I'm struggling to understand how we would possibly pay the money back. And we have to keep the doors open. The White Mountain National Forest reports larger crowds than usual for this time of year, while the Mount Washington Valley Chamber of Commerce said lodging will be vital to tourism, saying Storyland, for example, needs 500 guests to make it worth opening. There are definitely adjustments and difficulties uh, in terms of trying to figure out how to make that season happen in some kind of modified way. The president of the New Hampshire Brewers Association said more than 3,000 rely on the industry for jobs, along with extended tax credits, grants, and customers. The feedback is many are interested, but many are still on the fence as to whether they'll, yeah. they'll come in and visit. We actually had a, uh, a new restaurant open up today on Main Street. So yay, that, that's great. That fantastic in light yeah. of uh, everything that's going on. Yeah, uh, quite incredible. And Berlin's city manager also stressing they need to protect their vulnerable population, that if they don't do this right, they'll end up in the scenario they've been working so hard to avoid. Gene Mackin, WMUR, News 9.